Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one from isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. Well, today. <laughs> um, I do hope you all are doing well and feeling well. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being uh, said, guys, we are going to get started. Okay. So we have the overall energy here of um, the Lady of Lightning here, okay? So this talks about surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift, okay? So somebody may be shooketh by something, okay? There could be some type of surprise, something that startled you, shock you or something, a total shift in something bottom of the deck we have the altar the altar priestess okay so this talks about preparations this talks about prayer this also speaks to sacred rituals of some kind here perhaps someone has done some type of prayer done some type of sacred ritual could be preparing for something this could definitely be somebody who's into uh, divination in some type of way shape form or fashion okay yeah, because we have time and tide here, okay? So this talks about, this is oceanic spells and rituals. Somebody is doing some type of spell work, okay? Some type of spells or rituals have been done in some type of way. Okay. You all, please like, share, and subscribe. That is your free way of showing your support to the channel. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. So let's see what else is going on here, y'all. Somebody may be shocked or surprised by something uh, because of some type of spell or ritual that has been done. Okay. So we have against the grain here, okay? Someone has spirit is saying somebody has gone against the grain in an effort to do something we have she feels she knows here okay so if this if somebody is is, is doing these rituals doing this spell work um, to you I feel like you can feel it. You can know you know that it's being done. Okay. We have defend to the end. The worthwhile here. Or worthwhile. You could be defending something or someone to the end. Someone could be defending you in some type of way. That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay. What other messages do we need to share with the court? I see sexuality and I also just seen temptation. Somebody is doing somebody is doing sex magic on someone. Someone could also be doing death spells on someone. How teachable are you? So I literally seen sexuality, temptation, and then how teachable are you? Somebody is trying to like alter or change or manipulate um, somebody's mind. Like suggestive. Somebody's using spell work to like suggest, uh, suggest, oh my goodness. Subjectively um, inject certain things in someone's mind here, okay? I see rejection here. Okay, this could, you could have rejected someone in some type of way. So this person is doing 
spell work on you to try to get you to change your mind. I popped out again. Somebody's spell work could have been rejected in some type of way. So we got home here. Whoever this person is, you're at home, you're alone, you're by yourself. Someone's doing spell work on you. Someone's doing spell work on you to tempt you, doing spell work on your sexuality. I don't know if somebody's trying to alter or change your sexuality or make you more promiscuous or something like that. Or um, perhaps make you blind to one's... Um, from Make you blind to, to seeing someone for who they really are and make you lust for them. To put you in a situation to basically use you and abuse you, mistreat you or something like that. You could be an introvert. You could be in a hermit mall. You're at home while this is being done to you. You could have, with rejection, you could have been rejected, okay? But you could have also rejected someone, okay? And this person is attacking you. Somebody is also, this could also say, somebody is also maybe doing this spell work at home. We've got protected by angels here. So you are protected by the angels. You're cherished and loved by your angels. Spirit is saying. Sir, what else is going on here? suffering in silence and authority here you could be suffering in silence because of persons in authority there's even persons in authority or power who's abusing their authority and power who knows that this is being done to you who knows what you're going through they don't want you to have a firm foundation Perhaps you're someone that goes against the grain, okay? You don't go along with the status quo, the propagandas and the agendas, okay? Perhaps you're not a sellout. Because you go against the grain, you're suffering in silence because of people in authority here, okay? They don't want you to have a firm foundation, but you've been patiently waiting on something here, okay? Yet they persistently do things behind the scenes. They have someone who is doing spell work on you. To keep you in mental conflict. Yeah, look. They're in the shadows. They're behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Okay? Doing things on purpose to have you in mental conflict. Okay? Yeah, creating obstacles in your life on purpose. Yeah. You know the truth. You could have spoke the truth about this. What else is going on? <clears throat> if you have any type of talent, skills, abilities, or anything like that, these people, they reject you on purpose. Okay? They could have tried to initiate you or convince, coerce, bribe, tempt, or persuade you to sell out. And you could have rejected this. You could have rejected a certain relationship with someone. If you knew that they were a sellout. If you knew that they were evil, wicked, demonic, or any type of way here. Yeah, look at this. They're trying to they're trying to sacrifice you. They want to sacrifice you. Yeah. Got light at the bottom of the deck, okay? Your light shines very brightly, okay? Other people can see your light. Your light even pisses off piss people's demons off, okay? That's the reason why they want you trapped in fear, okay? Even though you're suffering in silence, even though they do things to have you trapped in fear, you see that light? Your light still shines. And this person is sitting here alone by themselves. Yeah. And with this lady of the lightning, you could be that lady of the lightning, okay? Especially if you have any type of um, 
talent, skills, or ability, like something that you do could like surprise others, um, could shock others. Okay, you bring about this 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 major paradigm shift in something because you go against the grain. Okay, this is the reason why with time and tie here, spell work is being done on you, but you feel you know that this is going on. Okay. These persons reject you. You have also rejected um, possibly someone who was sinister, demonic, evil, wicked that you know had bad intentions for you. See, they want you. They want you to be dumb. They actually. These people get mad <laughs> when you are aware of what they're trying to. When you won't be stupid enough to allow them to use and abuse you. It's like. It's like. How dare you know what we're trying to do to you? type of thing <laughs> these people are a trip yeah you're someone who's very wise okay you have a lot of wisdom okay your wisdom is going to bring you victory and success here okay you're going to move on you're going to move forward you're going to look at all this light around you and every one of these cards okay you're illuminated by this light here okay yeah look at that you're going to triumph wisdom victory and success moving on triumph Okay. This is the reason why these people are doing things to try to cause you heartache and uh, heartbreak and loss. Okay. That's what's going on here. Is there any other messages? These people are sitting in expectation, waiting on something to happen here. Okay. Waiting on something, something uh, that they. They've, they're having these witch practitioners um, to do against you. They're waiting on something to happen here. They're sitting in expectation uh, to, of, of word of your death here. They're trying to sacrifice you. You are meant to be a privileged lady. So what are they sitting in expectation of? What are they sitting in expectation of? They're also doing something for you to be in bad health. They're doing something for you to be in bad health. You're a privileged lady who who is destined to have great fortune. Okay? This is the reason why they want to sacrifice you. Yeah. Your family... They're, they're, they're nothing but false persons. They're fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue, lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulating con artists. Okay? They're two-faced. They're backstabbers. They're low-down, dirty shames. Okay? Yeah. As well as... And they're teamed up with official persons in power. These are people, government officials. This could be police, detectives, agents, politicians, whomever. They're official persons. They work for the government here. Okay? There could be a mature man that's going to send you some type of message. Or a mature man has sent a message to a main male uh, pertaining to some type of sudden wealth. Okay? You could be in poverty right now. This sudden wealth is yours. Somebody's literally going to go from rags to riches here. There's been some type of judgment or decision. These people are pocket watching you trying to determine what your life can and can't be. It's like they don't want you to have something because you're not... Are part of the click club group gang secret society um uh coven cult and all this other shit but you don't have to be there's nothing nowhere that says that you have to to be you have to sell your soul to anybody for you to have any damn thing especially when it is rightfully uh yours okay because if they was righteous in any way with that shit then there would be no need for them to be secretive about it now they want to write that shit up and they want to take that shit to, to trial, okay? And 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 make their case before an honorable sitting judge and tell a judge, yeah, we've invaded and violated this person's privacy and human rights and civil and constitutional rights. Okay? We we've we've persistently attacked this person because this person refused to sell their soul and their ass to us. So we have had people to do spell work on this person, death spells, sex magic, love spell, all kinds of things. So we can manipulate this person. We purposely, purposely have made this person life a living hell. These people, this person won't sell out to us because this person knows that we're just, we're just going to lie to them. We're just going to try to fool them and get them uh, where we want them so we can sacrifice them more easily and take all their, uh, their wealth and their power from them. Okay? 
they didn't want to admit that in a court of law, okay? Because even a judge that's a sellout, that's, 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 that's a sellout and a mason and in the pockets of the powers that be, you couldn't go stand before him in his court and actually say that shit without him doing any damn thing about it. Okay? Part of what he took oath to to do to in, in, <laughs> with the with the job that he has, so the, you know they're not gonna do that. Okay, you got a bunch of people who play God in other people's lives, who play pretend like they're so big, bad, and bold and shit. But you know they 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 literally bullies in secret. They're bullies from the from the darkened shadows. Okay. And they don't do nothing but push a whole bunch of money around to get people to do their dirty work, okay? They come to steal, kill, and destroy. And they literally pay people for every last one of those jobs. They pay people to lie. They pay people to steal. They pay people to kill. They pay people to do all kinds of things. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. And your sorry false person ass family and the gut and, and official persons in power have come together to attack you like this. They're jealous of you, they're envious of you, they're spiteful towards you, they're in competition with you. They've all stabbed you in your back. These are the type of people that want any any and everything for themselves. But they don't want you to have anything at all, not even the bare minimum of any damn thing. The audacity of them. Besides the fact if anything was left to you, but if you if, if God has given you, blessed you with some type of skill or talent or ability or something. See, God blesses us with God may not bring you a bowl love of money, but God has blessed you with certain skills, certain abilities that can make you earn you a bowl load of money. You understand what I'm saying? When you can't even do this, one thing for them to try to take something from you to say was gifted to you or left for you, that's fucked up. But then when they want to try to take the very things that you work your ass off for, they beyond sick in the head. You understand what I'm saying? In other words, this would be like a person working 50 hours a damn week, punching a clock, working 40, 50 hours a damn week for a person. Okay? Just for you to steal a whole damn check. When when it's when it's when it's payday. You understand? Then that don't make sense. You understand what I'm saying? Say that person's that person's say that person's parents passed away. And left them in inheritance and then you saw that. Okay? But then this would be, but but in the midst of that, this person is steady working, working steady, busting their ass, steady doing the best they can to take care of themselves, and then you come along and even still that. That's what these people do, and then have the audacity to want to tempt you, persuade you, bribe you, coerce you to try to initiate you into something that you know is sinister, evil, wicked, and demonic, because they are in the business of collecting souls for the devil. Knowing on the back end, they're just going to set you up to sacrifice you and leave you to hell hanging. Steal your essence. Feed off your energy. Harvest your soul. This is what they do. But if you're smart enough to know that, it's like, how dare you know? What would you, so we're just going to attack you. We're just going to endlessly attack you. Because we're bigger than you. We're better than you. We determine whether or not you can have this, that, or the third. Fuck the laws. We created the laws. We can dismiss the laws any time we get ready. Because the laws don't apply to us. Where is your God? Because we are gods. We're the ones that run, rule, and control everything. Where's your God? Why won't your God come and stop us? Because we're the big bad wolves. You can't have anything unless we say you can have anything. And if you ain't selling your soul on our foes, kissing our ass, sucking our dicks, our clicks, and on somebody's right tit, and you can't have 
any damn thing. We're going to stop you, block you, prevent you, hawk you, stagnate you, delay you. And this is what they do. They're cow- but they're too coward to stand up and say, this is what they do. Now they work in secret. But then on the surface act like you the one with the problem. How dare you? Everybody else in the world. See, they used to everybody else in the world. Majority of the people in the world. See, what y'all don't understand is why 90% of the world, uh, they gone. They sell out. Yeah. They gone. They sell out. Because they figured that's what they had to do. To get whatever they wanted to live comfortably, to get certain, to get on a certain level, get certain positions, titles, or roles, or whatever it is that they want. See, people sell out on a high level and a low level. Period. This is why these people are so cocky and arrogant, and and, and, and 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 as it relates to the things that they do. Majority of them already sell out. You understand know me? Even the, even the ones that on the surface play pretend like they righteous and upstanding and pillars of the communities and socialites and Christians and saved, sanctified and delivered and, you know, sitting up on high and righteous and all this other kind of stuff. No, they're not. That's what's going on here, yeah? That's what's going on here. Okay? So you know, we you you could you could have an altar, okay? You call for the best and prepare for the worst. With preparation here, you pray. You could be doing some type of sacred rituals. However, this could be tied into these these rituals, these spells, and these rituals that's this that's being done on you. Somebody could be using. Somebody's definitely using water, but somebody's using water and fire rituals. on you. It's possible that somebody somebody could be somebody could be using every element. Somebody could be using air too. I definitely know fire, water, possibly air. Probably earth too as materialistic and greedy as these people are. Okay. That's what's going on here, y'all. Okay. So, look at that. Militarized weapons. Some type of militarized weapons could be being used on you. They attack you because you're an earth angel, Spirit of Sam. Because you are a chosen earth angel. They attack you. You're, you're someone who's a leader by nature. Okay. There could be some type of new opportunities coming in for you, okay? That's all fine and good. That sounds real good. That sounds real great. Who don't want good opportunities, okay? But you need to understand. I just told you the majority of everybody around you are sellouts. So ask yourself, what opportunity could come to, could, could possibly come to you that is not from someone who isn't a part of that demonic sector? Just about everybody is in the pockets of these satanic powers that be. Yeah. You're no longer going along to get along. Okay? Too many years you've paid the price. Why do you have to put all this drama in your life? This is what you could be asking yourself. Okay? Yeah, look at that. Isn't it ironic just how many supposed Christians are nothing more than glorified hypocrites? That's what these people are. The very people working against you, they proclaim to be Christians. Yeah, what did I tell you? Abusing their money, power, privilege, and authority to bully others into submission. Okay? Yeah, you didn't have to fight for your rights. Okay? We have an attitude of gratitude here. So you may have the attitude of gratitude when some type of new opportunity comes in. Be careful though. 
Okay. Yeah, you've had to you have you have had to cut off and excommunicate yourself from toxic family forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've also had to do the same thing with fake friends. Okay, they low down, they're dirty, they're two faced, they're deceitful, they betrayed you, they're disloyal, they're shady, they're backstabbers. Okay. You could be a starving artist, okay? So you're just saying it's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Okay? So why is well on their way to being dead free? Yeah, what did I tell you? Somebody is using magic to control your free will. These people are soulless beings, Spirit is saying. But you're protected by the angels. Yeah. That's why you faced rejection. Okay? It's also why you have rejected them. But this is the reason why you face rejection from them. They want to sacrifice you. They're doing spells and rituals on you. But you're protected by the angels. Spirit of Saint. That's what's going on here, y'all. Spirit, any other messages I need to share with the collective? Any other messages? These people are actively trying to sacrifice you. Like, they're actually actively trying to, like, take you out. They want you dead and gone. You could be having some type of new beginnings. I've seen angel number 321. Yeah. These people could also be attacking you due to some type of trust run. Okay. Um, some type of abundance, wills, inheritance. It's your birthright, okay? Some type of sudden wealth, okay? This could uh, include some um, your legacy, endowment, estates, heritage, or something like that as well. Okay? I also see um, angel number 1133, 1133. It's weird to say and keep a good attitude, okay? Trust your future is bright. Listen and trust your inner voice. Okay, this is guardian angels who want the best for you. Okay, there's good changes coming your way, spirit is saying. Okay, so this is what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. I also see here identical twins. And uh, angel number 1010. It's interesting because angel number 1010 talks about meeting your twin. Your twin flame or meeting your twin. Okay. But I see identical twins here. Okay. You could be meeting your twin. There could be some type of new beginning. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying that you're about to deepen your bond or connection to your partner or your twin flame here. Okay. Somebody can have an identical twin. You may not have known this. Spirit wants you to clarify your thoughts and emotions. You could be creating at an accelerated pace, Spirit is saying. Your spiritual path is in harmony with your soul's mission. But you also know that the tens talk about com uh, um, completions as well. That's interesting. It's interesting because behind that I see travel travel far enough to meet yourself. Okay? Like literally yourself. Somebody could be traveling to meet themselves. Especially if you have a twin, an identical twin. Somebody looks just like you that you never even knew existed. Okay. Something some, some something pertaining to travel is is significant here, okay? Because with behind I see identical twins, I see angel number 1010, okay? Which breaks down, you see the one ones there, okay? So there's two of you all. Then you have travel enough, uh, travel far enough to meet yourself. And then I see love travel here. So some type of travel is definitely involved as it relates to something. Somebody traveling to you, traveling to someone or something, okay, guys? So that's what's going on here, y'all. Let's see if there's any other messages. Let's see if there are any other messages Spirit have for you. Mm -hmm. So these people are the devil. They're sending devil energy. Okay? 
They're chained to the devil. They're shepherds for the devil. They do the work of, of, of evil. Nine of coins. You could be coming into um, obviously a large amount of abundance. Yeah, nine of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is going to be some type of hope, wish, or dream come true for you. You got nine, nine here. Nine of pentacles, nine of cups. Okay. Eight of wands is sitting here with the devil over here with these, these, these folks that's working against you. Yeah. There's that magician card. This is that spell work that's being. They're using every element. Predominantly, they use fire and water a lot, lot more than anything else. So you could be a fire or a water sign that's going through this, okay? But they're definitely using all four, all four elements here, okay? These people are trying to do something in a hurry. I see speed, multitasking, a lot of activity, swift, fast communication, message news information going back and forth between these people that's chained to the devil. These toxic um, individuals that's chained to the devil here, okay? There's definitely um, some type of change that is happening, okay? And I feel like this change is going to bring about uh, some type of empowerment or fulfillment to you here. These people, they, they I see, I'm literally seeing the Seven of Cups that, um, these people have like, <laughs> they've used like several different methods to try to take you out. They've like, they have, they've had like, like several different choices, several different options, use several different methods to try to take you out, okay? They've been at something a long time, okay? Yeah. They've actually put in a lot of money to do something as well here. Okay. You're also being blessed by a higher power. Like the most high. With some type of prosperity, stability, security, abundance as well. With the ace of coins being here. There's going to be growth and movement forward here for you. Okay. Yeah. These people themselves, they did things to put you in mental conflict, but they are in mental conflict. These people are stressed, they're worried, they're depressed, they're anxious, okay? They're feeling haunted and taunted by ghosts of the past in some type of way, okay? They're in mental conflict. They could be even be dealing with some type of burdens, hardships, and problems in the situations over the situation right now, okay? There's a strange feelings and overwhelming emotions as it relates to this. When I see the will of fortune and the sun here, as well as the six of coins here, okay? So this will talks about luck, prosperity, abundance, uh, stability, security. The sun speaks to happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, fresh starts. The six of uh, coins talks about generosity, okay? Some type of gift of generosity or charity or something, something being gifted to you or it's a giving and receiving type of energy here, Okay? That's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. There's a lot of people involved. I'm starting to see a lot of face cards. Okay. I feel like you have you have several options to choose from yourself, okay? Several different things that you can make a decision on as to how you want to move forward, as to what you want to do, okay? You are worthy enough. These people just rejected you because they're evil, wicked people. Mm -hmm. They're also liars, cheaters, deceivers. They tried to steal something from you or they did steal something from you. Okay, but they're definitely lying, liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, con artists. You see all of them grouped up together, meeting up together and different things. They've been sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something as well, Spirit is saying. Yeah. You've worked really hard. Okay. 
I see you working really hard on something here, okay? Your hard work could be um, about to pay off in some type of way. I feel like also this whole time while you were working hard on something, you, you were rejected, okay? But you stayed focused and you continued to work hard. Um... Meanwhile, these people were trying to sacrifice you. They literally wanted to play you for dumb. They wanted you to be stupid and gullible. And they wanted to play you for dumb. Okay? It's just shining very brightly. You're shining very brightly. Any other messages, Spirit? Yeah, they wanted you juggling and struggling. They wanted you sad, lonely, depressed, stressed. Okay? That's what's going on here, guys. So, real quick, let's get some... Um, angel messages. Sir, please give us clear and accurate messages. Yeah, magician. These people did a lot of heavy, heavy spell work on you, okay? They did spell work. They did, they've been doing death spells on you for a long time. They tried to get you to fall ill. They wanted you in bad health. They've done several different things with, 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 with spell work to get rid of you. What else is going on? There's an earth sign, a fire sign that's been working against you. You're going to have new beginnings coming in for you, okay? You're going to be starting a new life. Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past, okay? Yeah, we have the will here. This is why they really wanted to sacrifice you. Because of some type of will, okay? Large amount of money or abundance. They wanted that they were willing to kill you for, take you out to steal from you, okay? Even this will talks about new beginnings in the delays, a change in direction that offers happiness for you, okay? Yeah. They did all type of spell work. They did everything in their power to cause you the three of Michael because of the three of Michael here. Okay, this is air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. That's like the three of swords in the traditional tarot deck. They did the spell work on you to cause you heartache, heartbreak, pain, sorrow, misery, anguish, disappointment, regrets. Okay. Yeah, Spirit says to release the past. You will grow from this situation. Okay, time heals all wounds. Okay. Are there any other messages that I need to share? Okay. That's what's going on here, y'all. So hopefully this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you're dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may know that someone is dealing with. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby sunny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. 
So you'll watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch surroundings in the company and what your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, or stay prepared and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.